Now let's look at solving a system of linear equations algebraically, but using the subtraction method. And our solution is going to be a little more complicated this time. We're going to look at, take a look at the x coefficients, and we could have looked at the y's, but I just want to take a look at the x's because they're the first ones. And what we're going to want to do is to notice that we want to make these numbers match. So instead of 3x and 5x, we want them both to be the same number times x. And we'd also, in this particular case, I'm going to have them be the same sign, so they'll both be positive. The easy way to do this is here's my two equations right here. And if I take a look again at the coefficients, so there's my 3x and there's my 5x, if I want these two numbers to match, the easy solution is to take this and multiply it by 5, and to take this one and multiply it by 3. And when we do that, we of course have to do it to the entire equation. So if I take 5 times 3x, I'll get 15x. 5 times negative 4y, I'll get negative 20y. And then 5 times 7 is 35. Conversely for equation 2, when I multiply it through by 3, 3 times 5x is 15x. And 3 times minus 6 is minus 18y. And 3 times 1 is 3. Now notice that both equations have 15x and 15x, and this is what is going to allow us to use our subtraction method. When both the coefficients are the same number and they're both positive, we use subtraction. So 15x take away 15x will yield 0. Negative 20y take away a negative 18y, that would be negative 20y plus 18y. Don't forget the change in signs here because of the negative and the negative. So that'll give us negative 2y. And then 35 minus 3 is 32. And then we can divide each side by the coefficient of y, which is negative 2. So our answer becomes y is equal to negative 16. We can then take our answer and sub it into either one of our original equations. And again, I'm just choosing to put it into equation 1. So when I sub in y is equal to negative 16 into my equation 1, do a little bit of algebra, the x answer I'll get will be 19. So the solution to the, my system of equations is the point negative 19, 16, or in list form, x is negative 19, y is negative 16. And again, looking at the graph, we can see that our point of intersection between the two lines is the point negative 19, negative 16.